Hi learners, welcome in this video. Let us discuss about what is proper axis of symmetry. This is the first symmetry element in uh, symmetry and group theory concept, continuation to the first class. The proper axis of symmetry means here, let's see what is symmetry operation. Symmetry operation is is rotation. And whenever we want to rotate, we need a line. So that's why here uh, symmetry element is line. And it is expressed with CN, where N stands for N is equal to order of the axis, order of the axis. How can you calculate axis order means? So one complete rotation will give you 360 degrees. So just take 360, divide with the angle you rotate. So rotated angle will give you the order. And the example, if I take H2O, structure of H2O is and here the axis you can take along with uh, center of gravity and passing through oxygen, you can say, and it can be rotated to 180 degrees. So how can I calculate order of the axis here? Order of the axis is 360 divided by 180. So 360 divided by 180 means 2. So this is n value. So we have to write C2. When you are doing the for the first time, you have to represent. 1, C to 1. Then what happens here? H2 will come to this place and H1 will go. Now you can see this is original structure. This is, uh, we did uh, symmetry operation here is rotation. 180 degrees we rotated along Z axis. Then uh, molecule here, it will be center of gravity. And you got the equivalent structure, but it is not exactly uh, identical. So we need to do one more operation to do this. C2, 2. When you do one more 180 degrees rotation through this, what happens? 180 degree rotation, if you do, we'll get identical structure. H1 will come to this position. This is identical. So whenever you, do, you are doing a symmetry operation, you have to do symmetry operation till you got identical structure. So furtherly, there is no need to do this. So here, one more point you have to remember is, Whenever you do C22, you got E identity. That means we can give a general formula when you rotate n times C n power n always will give you identity in rotational axis. Now let us discuss a few molecules with a different uh, C2 axis. In that first, again, uh, first type I'm going to give you about principal axis of symmetry. Principal axis. There are two types of axis, principal axis and secondary axis. Principal axis means uh, whenever you see only one type of uh, the higher order, one type of axis, if it is present, that will be a principal. Only one axis, then that will be principal axis. If it has two different axes, C2 axis and higher order axis and other axis. Then the C2 axis is to, said to be secondary axis and other axis is called principal axis. Okay, so let us discuss one by one. First one, principal axis, that two. Uh, first example, I'm going to give you a C2 axis, the molecule with C2 axis. Example, you can take water, H2S, etc. And just now I discussed about water. In water, we'll be having a C2X passing through oxygen. And when you do it for the first time, you say it's C21. This is C another time we are doing. So this is C22 will give you same structure. Okay. Second one, molecules with C3 axis. 
molecules with C3 axis. Example, I am going to take here ammonia. Uh, you can take boron trichloride. Let us take here to explain this concept, BCL3. BCL3 is a planar molecule. Okay, here the axis will be exactly at the center of boron. You can see here it will be the C3 axis. This is C3 axis perpendicular to this plane. You can find C3 axis 1, 2, 3. So, and this is center of gravity. Generally, proper axis or principal axis or secondary axis and any of the symmetry element, they will be having center of gravity along with them. So, when you can guess now here, what is the angle? Why it is got C3 angle? Here, every time we need to rotate 120 degrees. So, 360 divided by 120 will give you 3. That is the order is 3. Now you are going to get after rotation, you are going to get Cl2 comes here. Sorry, Cl3 will come here. Clockwise rotation, Cl1 comes here, Cl2 goes here. So how many times I have to do? Like that I should do 3 times. So see, this is C3 1, this is C3 2. Second time you are doing, one more time you have to do Till you got identity, you should continue the element. Then it comes Cl2, Cl3, Cl1. And one more time, if I rotate 120 degrees along with this axis, this is C3 axis. So this is C3. will give you identical structure. You see Cl1, Cl2. So this, these are in similarly you can find ammonia also. In ammonia also you are going to have a C3 axis. Just I will show you where will be the C3 axis. And ammonia will be having hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. And this is the Z axis and here will be the center of gravity. Passing through Z axis, it will be having C3. So how many times you have to do a rotation to get identical structure? Three times you have to do. Next let us discuss about C4 axis, molecules with C4 axis. You can take SF6, SF6. The structure of SF6 is they have four uh, equatorial fluorines and two axial. Two axial. So you can say here this is the C4 axis. Uh, if you do C41 followed by C42, C43, and C44, you are going to get identical structure. So you can rotate in this way. You can give numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's a clockwise rotation. I gave you here, you can see. So, like that, you will be having molecules with C5 axis, C5 axis. Like look into, uh, I mean, ferrocene, you can take ferrocene, metallocenes. Um, next, IF7. So, IF7, I will show here. So, this axis will be two axial fluorines and C5 axis, you can see, it will be having C5 axis. So, seven, five times you have to do. So, if I do five times, it will give you an end. Uh, similarly, C6 axis. C6 axis, you can take example benzene. Where you can see here in benzene, you have six. So, here will be the C3 axis. C3 sorry, C6 axis. So, C6, if you do six times, it will give you an idea. Okay. Now, let us discuss about secondary axis. Secondary axis, uh, in same example I will take here. To explain benzene, I'm going to take. In benzene, if you see, it is uh, principal axis is C6. High fold axis will be taken as mm, C6 axis. And in addition to that, you can give one, 
T two axis to the along the sorry corners. I'm going to rewrite this secondary axis. Mm, the secondary axis in benzene you have uh, three six is a principal axis that already we discussed just now. Now let's see where are the secondary axis in benzene. You can see these opposite corners along these opposite corners. You can take three. Sorry, I'm not getting it that far. So this is a C two, C two, C two. Similarly, you can take one more benzene where you can see here two op opposite passing through opposite. There are three C three axis, C two, C two, and C two. So there are six C two axis. In benzene, generally you, you need to know one more important thing here. Whenever there are secondary axes, generally that will be equal to n C two axis, n C two. One more I gave you already. C n power n is equal to identity. Okay, and there are there is a possibility of having C infinite axis as well. C infinite axis, C infinite axis will be there in molecules like. Uh, Diatomic like hydrogen, oxygen, etc. C infinite. You can rotate at any angle. It will give you the similar molecule. So it is said to be C infinite. And we have molecule with the C infinite axis and infinite C two axis. Infinite C two axis. Example, you can take carbon dioxide. You can take carbon dioxide where the C two axis is here. This is a principal axis. C infinite. And these are infinite C two axis will be there in this infinite C two. So C infinite and infinite C two axis. Hope this video will be helpful. Please do watch my videos. Uh, continuation video I will do on next plane of symmetry. Thank you. Please subscribe.